was the dog. She couldn't help thinking that it was the last thing Papa would ever give her. Hands trembling, she lifted the lid and looked inside the box. The doll wore a fine white batiste dress and a white lace mantilla over her black hair. Her porcelain face looked wistfully at Esperanza with enormous eyes. Oh, she looks like an angel, said Abuelita, taking her handkerchief from her sleeve and blotting her eyes. Mamá said nothing, but reached out and touched the doll's face. Esperanza couldn't talk. Her heart felt so big and hurt so much that it crowded out her voice. She hugged the doll to her chest and walked out of the room. My friend Aaron, who doesn't want to be on camera, gave me my late birthday present. If you guys don't know, I really love Harley Quinn from Batman. Right, Aaron? No! You got me. I did. <laughs> I totally did. Thank you. Thank you. Say me. hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> Be more exciting. Be more, I, I don't know what to do. You're, you're putting me on the spot here. I did not plan for this. I like only got five hours of sleep. I don't know what to do. And this is exactly what college does to us guys. I am now out of school. Uh, classes went well. Everything was good. Um, just got to do a lot of studying because I have three tests next week. Two on Tuesday, uh, one on Thursday. But luckily, one of my classes on the day I have to take one of my exams on Tuesday is going to be online and I can access it at any time. So that's great. I appreciate that because it's been a really really long time since I've had two deaths two deaths two tests on the same day and later I'm hanging out with my boyfriend because today is his birthday so we are going to have a great time so yeah that's what's gonna happen and now we have a dance break let me turn that up a little Hey guys, so it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Um, I am currently in my sunroom. I am going to do some homework because that didn't happen yesterday. I kind of took the day for myself yesterday. I didn't have any sleep the night before and I was just super exhausted. I couldn't like focus whatsoever on doing anything. I just kind of chilled, played some video games actually, that was fun. But I promised myself that today, Thursday, I would get some stuff done before my class tomorrow because obviously it's always about my class on Friday. My teacher warned us not to slack off in this class. She's like, you don't want to procrastinate. So I'm trying really hard not to because my project's due the following week, so I really really want to do this well and I hope that this project can lead me to more doorways in my career path so yeah we're gonna chill out here today for a good bit and just get stuff done that is my motto today that's what I'm feeling like doing so let's get to it so fun fact I am a plant person hashtag plant mama I am really obsessed with plants I've had this obsession for about a year and a half now if you're starting off and you are interested in you know having plants in your home definitely start off with the pothos plant which is this one they're very popular and they're very easy to maintain and grow uh, they're also really resilient so what that means is that if you were to underwater it like you forget to water it a lot it'll still thrive uh, this is also from that same plant over there it's a cutting and they've been doing really well um, I've had new ones right here grow right there uh, like I said they're really easy to maintain normal soil works well for them 
I would water them about once a week because these are really thirsty plants. And if you forget for a while, they'll still be okay, but I would highly recommend to just keep an eye contact with it, you know, just watch out for it. Eye contact, that's not the word, but you know what I mean. Anyways, right here I have my poinsettias. I have two of them. They've been doing really well and they've been blooming a lot, even after Christmas time. I do know that they're both like tropical plants, so like 60 to like 65, almost 70 degree weather is really ideal for them. They like the humidity, they like the warmth. Now, these are actually very thirsty plants. You want to water them every other day and they are also really finicky. They don't like like direct light, they like bright and direct light and sometimes they don't like too much light. You definitely do not want to leave them in water. They get really, really resentful if you leave them in water. So if you are interested in poinsettias for Christmas time or you are interested in beginners, definitely consider the pothos and the poinsettia. And that is plant class one on one. If you have any more questions, you just, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, I'm still learning. And uh, I have a podcast that I listen to about it called Bloom and Grow Radio, and I've been learning a lot. So if you're interested, just uh, let me know, and I'll direct you to the things you need to see and learn. It's now 5.35. I've been on this for about maybe an hour and a half going on two. I found a temporary solution to my problem, but I still don't understand what I've been doing wrong. I even texted my group and they were trying to explain to me what I was already doing, but for some reason it's just not working. So InDesign is really tedious and you have to have a lot of the tools already set up and I did that with my teacher like two weeks ago right but when we were working on this last week I was playing around with something with her and for some reason it hasn't gone away so I have to like create text box to put something on this page right and I can make the text box on the page but when I press the text tool to write in something, my text cursor appears at the top of the page instead of inside the box. I had been really annoyed and stressed about it for like a good 45 minutes. I kind of had to start all over again. I deleted all of my stuff and then just started over. And so far I'm getting more progress, but I need to talk to my teacher about it tomorrow and be like, what the heck? I'm like legitimately stressed right now. <sighs> but that's my update. I found a temporary solution and it will work. And I'm getting my stuff done. And that's the most important thing. But this ish is ridiculous. Alright? It just is. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to continue working before it gets darker. Thanks for listening.